So, I mean, obviously, first of all, your hair is incredible. I'm beyond jealous. I'm sure any woman watching, and probably most of the men watching, are all very jealous at this point. And it was one of my favorite quotes of the whole draft weekend was when Jason Light was asked about you. He was talking about, yeah, like, we love him. Big hair, don't care. Yeah. And I feel like now this is this your new mentality? Is this, like, the mantra and motto for Grant Stewart? I mean, <laughs> I like I like uh, when people acknowledge it. I feel like, uh, you know, it's part of me. It's part of my personality. It's, you know, part of my story. So I remember my dad telling me to grow it out when I was younger. Um, and, you know, after it grew out, I was like, oh, it's kind of cool, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, really, you know, when you can see it out the back of my helmet and stuff, I started realizing that like my sophomore year in high school and I was like, oh yeah, this is the move. This is the look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the move, yeah. Well, and you mentioned that it, your family was a big part of why you decided to grow it out. And I know family is really important to you. So tell me a little bit about your family and, and your childhood and background. Um, you know, it wasn't always the easiest, you know. Uh, there was, you know, a little stretch in my childhood when my dad uh, was in prison, um, there was, Pretty much my whole childhood, my mom is on drugs. My mom is, you know, still struggling, battling addiction. You know, there was definitely a lot of times growing up where I was forced to uh, to provide, to figure stuff out, to adapt. Um, especially, I grew up with two younger siblings in my home. The other two have different parents, um, but I really grew up with them two, trying to figure out how to make stuff happen, how to make stuff shake, um, and you know that I think definitely helped me as an adult being able to face adversity and be able to adapt very quickly or find a solution um, every single day that that I'm grateful for that for that portion of my life that it happened because you know even though it was tough and it created some rocky relationships and stuff like that it you know it helped build character um, and it just made the bond between me and my siblings that much stronger. How do you feel like everything about all of that has affected maybe even the kind of football player you are, the mentality on the field? Because that was something I felt like I heard a lot about from Jason Light and everybody else when you got drafted is yeah. your mentality on the field and the way that you are so, um, they almost even use the word violent on the field and aggressive and you play with passion and, and all of that of, of who you are on the field. Sports was the one thing that brought my family together like no matter what was going on, no matter who was where, like even if a parent was in jail or something, like my uncle or somebody would show up, or like my parents would figure out how to provide for me from a football standpoint. And so for me, that is where I found worth. I felt like as a kid, I already had like a why for being out there. Most people say like, what is your why? And it's like, my why was because that was literally my everything at a young age was the game. And the, the Buccaneers care a lot about giving back to the community. And it seems like that's also an area that you care about and could add some value to this team as well that I know for your bench press reps at the Pro Day that you raised money for something called Heels to Halos that is an anti-sex trafficking organization. And I think you've even done some food insecurity type donations and you know gone to a march on campus for social justice. What are the things that you're passionate about in terms of off the field? And is that something you want to pursue at an NFL level? Yeah, so I'm really just super passionate about serving people in my community. Anybody I can possibly serve, I wanna help. Um, just because there were so many people in my life that helped me along this journey, um, as well as I feel like uh, my faith in the Bible calls us to serve others. And that is just kind of like what I try to do off the field. And I feel like as a football player, we have this super big platform. And I was honestly going to wait until I got to the NFL to like start my stuff and start doing stuff. I met this guy named Anthony, like I told you earlier, who does uh, professional rodeo uh, riding. And he told me like, you know, it's not about your platform, it's about your heart. You know, you have a platform anywhere. So I realized that and I was like, okay, well, start trying to, you know, help in the community and stuff like that and put little things together. Um, and so actually I'm in the works of launching my nonprofit. It's gonna be called God's Timing. Um, so look out for that, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Uh, and, you know, being Mr. Irrelevant, um, you know, I, will, I went from thinking I was going to be four fifth round to, oh, now I got to get this surgery. I can't run at my pro day. Um, so now I might be undrafted. And I had these specific teams that I thought was going to draft me. I talked to them. I never spoke to the Buccaneers. So um, it really just showed me it's on God's time and not mine. It's about what he wills for me. And he put me literally in the best place I could be at.